What if I told you there was a disease out there that killed 49,000 people a year and caused 257,000 ER visits? In fact, in 17, it was the number one reason for a hospital visit outside of pregnancy. <laughs> what would you do? Would you try and stay away from it? Would you try, try and prevent yourself from getting it? Would you maybe donate to the cause? What disease am I talking about? I know that we've dealt a lot with COVID in the last three years, but this disease is actually pneumonia. It's similar to the flu. However, with pneumonia, the older you get, the more prone you are to get to catching it, and your fever will run a lot higher. You'll have severe shortness of breath, coughing, yellow-green sputum, chills, a decreased appetite, and in the elderly population, you can see a lot of confusion mainly. Any age can get it, but like I said, you're more prone to it the older that you get. The majority of the people that actually die of pneumonia are either under the age of five or over the age of 65. Otherwise, unless you have heart issues or breathing issues, it's not as big a deal. A lot of kids will catch it even in their teenage years, and they call it walking pneumonia and they recover from it. The death rate in the last 50 years hasn't improved much, even though we've got all kinds of different medications, we've got different treatments, we've got more knowledge, we've got more patient base, more studies, and better equipment to deal with diseases and disease states, the death rate still is ranging about the same that it was 50 years ago. All children by the age of two years old or 24 months should have received at least four, or four doses of the pneumonia vaccine. One at two months, four months, six months, and then 12 to 15 months. Due to COVID, a lot of people have missed vaccinations and may be out of sync with the normal structure of when you get your vaccinations. Talk to your provider if you're behind on that and they can get you caught up to where you need to be for you or your child. There are four different now vaccines for pneumonia in adults. Prevnar 13, Pneumovax 23, Prevnar 20, which is the new one, and Vax Nuvance, which is another new one out there as well. Prevnar 13 has kind of fallen out of favor because we have better things now as far as coverage like Prevnar 20. So that's, that's not even available in a lot of situations. If you've received Prevnar 13 or new, uh, Pneumovax 23, one dose, you should get Prevnar 20. If you get Vax Nuvance, you should receive Prevnar 20 one year and literally with Medicare, it does need to be one year, 12 months and a little after to the day for them to pay for it. You should receive a dose of Prevnar 20 then a year later and it should be covered under Medicare. CDC uh, actually recommends patients at high, high risk should receive a dose prior to the age of 65. So if you have situations where you're immunocompromised, a cancer patient, HIV, um, organ transplant patients, patients with diabetes, uh, uncontrolled hypertension, heart failure, COPD, asthma, you would all qualify. Smokers should also consider getting one before the age of 65. Now your insurance may not pay for that, but it still is a good idea and the cost is not extravagant. It's way cheaper than a hospital visit. If you've received two doses of Pneumovax or Prevnar, whatever strength it may be, the 13 or the 20, you should wait at least five years before you receive another dose of Prevnar 20. At that time, the coverage you wanna check with your pharmacist or your provider about your insurance coverage or Medicare coverage, because in the past, Medicare has only paid for it beyond 10 years. But it is a good idea to get another dose five years after the initial two doses that you've received. You also wanna make sure you get your annual flu shot. That has been shown to help decrease your risk of pneumonia as well. 
quit smoking if you're a smoker. And if you do happen to get pneumonia, do get on an antibiotic. Go to your doctor, get in as soon as possible. The sooner you catch it, the better off you'll be, and you may prevent a hospital visit. After you've had, if you're unlucky and you do get pneumonia, it's very important to keep your lungs at full capacity and to strengthen them. So I would highly recommend you get an incentive spirometer and work those lungs on a daily basis at home to get the strength built up. As soon as you can, get into a mild exercise of walking program to help get your lungs built up because if you don't, you will deal with the consequences of pneumonia for years afterwards.